Welcome to the first part. In this part, we're going to talk about the situation. I'm going to tell you exactly what the situation is and what you need to watch out for. And I'm also going to share with you how an agreement works so you can have a general idea when I'm looking for an article or when something happened, I need to look something up in my agreement. I need to look at that place or at that part of the agreement. So let's begin. So as you can see, this is the agreement, but we are not going to look at the agreement yet. I'm going to discuss the situation first. So you can just get the general idea of the situation when you can use it. So when you have an agreement, this is the agreement. And in the agreement, you have some sections. So here you have, for example, the intro. And then you have the body. And then you have the outro. And what do I mean by that? When you have an agreement, most of the time in the intro, they put who, whose party. So who signed the agreement? You'll find the same situation, the same information also here. But this is where they need to sign. So here you will find the information of the person that filled the contract in and other stuff. But this is not that important. I'm just saying it's not important for the, um, for the content, but it's really important if you miss something. So it's, if you miss, if you have the wrong name or if you have the wrong person on it and the wrong person sign it, you have a problem. So you need to make sure that these things are um, signed and make sure that it's correct. If it's not correct, it doesn't work. That's obvious. But why do I say it's not important? In the intro section, you also have a part that explain why you create this agreement. And this is really important. This is important because most of the time when you create an agreement, there are some things you don't put in the agreement. And that's why it's really important to put it in it. And the names and all the stuff, yeah, you can fill it in. It's, it's not that um, not that difficult to do, so you can do it. So, like I said, we're going to talk about situation. What is it? You have, let's say, person A and person B. Person A needs advertising. Person B provides advertising services. So, they contact each other. They sign a contract. And in the contract... They put a lot of things in a contract, like uh, who are the parties, the agreements, and who's going to sign it. It's simple, right? So this is technically the contract. This is technically the contract. A provide advertising service to B provide advertising services to A. It's that simple. But it's important to know what are those services. When what do you need to pay? If I want to get out of the contract, what do I need to put in it? So all these things we discuss in other videos, but what I want you to keep in mind is this is a situation. A needs services, B provides services, and this is specific services providing advertising. And in this case, we're going to discuss advertising online internet. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. I will appreciate it. And if you like this video, like it. See you in the next part.